Hey guys, what's up? Talia here, founder of Workweek Lunch, and tonight we are going to make tofu three ways. Tofu is one of my favorite proteins. I've been cooking tofu since college. It was one of the first things I actually learned to like. Being a picky kid, I'm surprised I even like tofu like from the get-go. I don't know, maybe because it's super bland on its own, but I just love it. Who here has made tofu before? Tell me in the comments. I've got this extra firm tofu that I picked up at the store. Uh, tofu is basically soybean curd. First, we have to drain it. So we have our tofu, and what I like to do is wrap it in a paper towel and put something heavy on top. The point of doing all this is to press the water out of it so that it's a little bit crispier when you cook it. Get something heavy on top. I don't know, maybe like a, a cast iron. It's a little bit of a balancing act, but it'll, it'll do the trick. So I'm gonna leave it like this for like 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll come back and the tofu will be perfectly drained. So we're done pressing and now it's time to cut. So there are a few ways you can chop tofu. You can cube it, you can actually crumble it up, which I've heard is really good for having the flavor stick. I have never tried it, so I'm not gonna try it now but we're just gonna do cubes and slabs, kind of like steak. So let's do, let's save this for our slabs, and let's do cubes of these. So when I'm chopping, again, I, I wanna keep them kind of small. I like to cook them like that, but you can cook, you can chop any size cubes you would like. So for slabs, we're literally just going to do two slabs today. But this is kind of like if you're replacing chicken cutlet or steak, you can do this shape and it's a little bit more like an actual steak or piece of chicken. So now we're gonna flavor them. So I'm gonna marinate our cubes. And we're gonna marinate it with yondu. This is a savory uh, vegetable seasoning. I like to use, but you can use soy sauce. Um, you know, this is kind of a specialty ingredient, but it's, it does really well tofu. When you're handling tofu, you definitely want to use um, something plastic, like I'm using right now a silicone spatula, because if you're using metal, it might destroy your tofu. It's, you know, it's still pretty delicate, even though it's firm. So we're just gonna let that sit for about 10 minutes. It doesn't need that much time. For our slabs, we are gonna marinate in my favorite way to flavor tofu, which is my classic um, marinade. And then we're just gonna leave it like that for you know 10 to 15 minutes, and we'll get cooking soon. So the three methods we're doing tonight are cooking in the oven, we're gonna do the crispy tofu with with a cornstarch, and then we're gonna do like a grilled tofu steak, uh, you know, steak. Let's get the tofu in the oven first. So you can cook really good crispy tofu in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for like 20 minutes. You can do it for up to 40 minutes if you want it really crispy, but we're just gonna do a couple minutes because I don't need mine to like be super crispy. Let's do it. So here's my little baby sheet pan because we're not doing a whole batch tonight. Spray with cooking spray. Very important because tofu will stick a lot. So when you're putting your tofu on the pan, you wanna make sure you don't get a ton of liquid on there because then it'll boil and it won't be crispy. So we're just gonna put half of our tofu on here because I wanna save the remaining half to make crispy corn flour or cornstarch tofu. So we're gonna make sure that the tofu is all spread apart because again, the more space you give your tofu, the crispier it'll get. So I'm gonna pop this, pop this in the oven. It's already pre preheated at 400 degrees in the oven. Next, we're gonna do our slabs. This is a uh, non-stick grill pan that I really love, especially for tofu. Uh, it's really fun, it gets a nice grill marks on it. So I've been preheating it. Hopefully it's hot enough, but I really like using the grill pan. Highly recommend using non-stick for tofu. Uh, similar to eggs, it just gets really sticky and weird you're gonna have much more success with a non-stick pan. So we're gonna add a little bit of avocado oil. A 
And then I'm going to put my tofu steaks Ooh. right on there. For this tofu, we have to dry it off and toss it in cornstarch. This took me a long time to master. I have a paper towel here, and we're basically just going to pat it dry a little bit. So this mixture is cornstarch, salt, and onion powder. Okay, and you can't do this with flour, you need to do it with cornstarch. It just does better. So let's check on these. Whoa, look at those grill marks. Beautiful. <laughs> Wow, that looks so good. So now we're going to add a little bit more oil and we're going to add our crispy tofu on the side here. Do it in the same pan. Now let's check on our, our oven tofu. Here is our oven tofu. And let's see. Okay, we're definitely not near crispiness yet. We have to put it back in. Okay, so we're getting some crispiness here. I think these are done. This again can be used in a sandwich. It can be used as just like a, you know, the wet whoops. Used as like a regular protein. There's the other side. It's, this is not the kind of thing you can meal prep. It definitely will get soggy. Anything that's like breaded will just get soggy. So you really have to be careful with that. Look at that golden crispiness. That is looking really good. So I want to have one last tip for you guys, and that is what do you do with the extra marinade? I don't like to waste food. And even though we're not cooking with meat and this marinade is technically safe to eat, let's just say you're marinating chicken or something else, you can actually cook this on the stove and boil it and turn it into a sauce. And that's what we're going to do. Pretend we have meat in here. This is how you make it safe to consume and we will thicken the sauce and it'll be a sauce for our tofu. Let's check on our oven tofu again. See, we're getting there. We're not quite where we want to be crispiness wise, but you could just be done here and this could be it. And that could be your tofu. This is what's going to go in the sauce. Our sauce is boiling. That means it's ready. And it's just basically going to thicken. Okay, I think these are done. Some of them are crispier than others. I think because some have more cornstarch than other pieces. So this is the sheet pan tofu. This is the easiest way. Like if you've never cooked tofu before and you're like a like a real you know first time beginner tofu person, I would absolutely do it this way. Here are the three ways we cook tofu tonight. Crispy. This came out very salty. I just tried a piece. This is marinated and kind of grilled. And this is baked. Tofu is very versatile, and you can use a bunch of different cooking methods to work with it. So. Thank you for joining me. Bye.